Blessings upon blessings, great people. I am Marcia Espinel, and I am here today on this beautiful Saturday just to say how incredibly thankful I am again to be here for another opportunity of being blessed to be alive. I wanted to let everyone know that the whole goal in life is that in order to have a successful life, you need to be inspired. And as being worth the mercy, I'm here to inspire you, uplift you, motivate you through the power of words. And we have to first love ourselves. Love God, then love ourselves so that we can love others. We have to treat ourselves the way we want to other people to treat us. We have to lead the example on how others should be able to treat us. So you have to treat yourself better than anyone could ever treat you. Because that's the example that we have to lead for us to get what we want out of life. We have to love to learn. We have to learn to love ourselves and appreciate ourselves and appreciate life, beautiful life. I'm here in Tennessee, Pigeon Forge to be exact, and I'm just enjoying life. There's so much beautiful things going around here. There's so many beautiful experience to enjoy if you just stop and just take the time to be mindful of what God has created here what God has done for us so I am here popping up in Tennessee at this beautiful resort just to say a poem and it's called happiness with you I love you just in case I haven't told you today to your face. I love you. I love you. I love you. I couldn't imagine my life without being surrounded by your grace. Your love is the kind of love that fills me up. The love that we both share is one to never give up. A love that is patient and a love that is kind. A love that is sometimes very hard to find. But we found love, my dear. We found a love that will last years upon years. I love you. I love you. I love you. You have my mind, my body, and my soul. But most importantly, you have my heart that continues to grow. Blossoming from the weeds to an everlasting tree you motivate me always bringing out the best in me and I'm just here to say that I'm motivated I'm inspired okay I because I love myself if I wasn't able to love myself I wouldn't be able to love other people I wouldn't be able to love who I'm here with or love the people that come in contact with me or love my friends and my family I, it took me some time, but I have learned to be mindful and respectful of myself because if I don't love me, I would not have the capacity to love anyone else. And it's all about loving yourself. Love God, love you, and then you can love others. But if you don't love yourself first, you won't be able to love others. That's just the bottom line. Because I'll be 36 in January, and it's taken me this long to realize that I was not loving myself to the capacity that I was able to. And here I am to tell you that love is patient, love is kind, love is sometimes very hard to find, but when you find the love in yourself, then you can, it comes to you. It's the law of attraction. What you like is coming to you. You have to focus on the good, don't focus on the bad, focus on what's right. And things will continue to happen. Such things as this beautiful scenery here. You'll continue to appreciate life. And all that life has to offer. All the things. I'm just so grateful that I could be here. So grateful. You know. When I found my future. And where I envisioned my future. I envisioned a place that was just beyond my capacity of being able to be visioned. And it's just so awesome that I woke up this morning in a place, another state that looks, look, I mean, look at fall. We wanted fall and here it is. Look at the colors. 
the trees, the flowers, the water. We're just enjoying life here because that's what it is. Take time to enjoy life. Take time to enjoy yourself. Take time for yourself. You can wake up, you can be alone. You don't have to enjoy the company of others. Take time to write. Write what you're grateful for. Every morning I write what I'm grateful for. At least a few times a day. Because you know what? You got to be grateful for what you have. In order to keep what you have. And to get more and more of those things. So I'm here. Marcia S. McNeil. Words by Marcia. Follow me. And I'm just here to tell you that. There's so much to life. Than just being where you are. Get up. Get out. Do something. Take action. And be the love that you want to see. Because life is short but you have to choose to be positive choose to be happy you have to choose to be you choose to be you choose to accept who you are to love who you are and you can go very far it's all with the choice of what you want to be you can change who you are you can don't let anyone ever tell you that you can't anyone other people's perception of you is not who you are you know who you are and you know who you were destined to be and only God can tell you who you're supposed to be so we get a lot of second chances we can sit here and reset our minds we can reset once we get to that 999 and that thousand you can reset and start all over again that's what I'm learning you got the chance you have the voice you can do it never let anyone tell you that you can't be who you know you are to be and that's what I am. Words by Marcia. I am more than a title. I am a poet, author, songwriter. I'm a spoken word artist. I am confident. I am powerful. And I am enough. And I am here enjoying life because this is what I got to look forward to. Every day. Every day. And not just the weekend because I'm here in Tennessee. It's because I choose to be here and to do things all the time that's going to allow me to be present so stay present stay in the know take care of yourself treat yourself the way you want others to treat you treat yourself treat yourself do for yourself you got to take care of yourself remember to love yourself first love God love yourself and you can love others Worry about, but worries by Marcia. And you guys have a wonderful day.